Da, 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 da. Bum, 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 bum. Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Leggett. I'm here with my assistant Cricket, and we are going to clear up some questions that you might have regarding the infographic that you've been asked to make for um, the Mosa Mac Make unit. So, I'm gonna show you what we've got, but first, Cricket really wanted to share uh, some fun facts out of our National Geographic Kids magazine. So, um, you know, her favorite section is weird but true. So she really wants to read a couple of these to you. So, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead and read that one. Yeah. What's, are, you, are, you, are you embarrassed? Oh, I forgot. I haven't taught her how to read yet. Sorry, Cricket, that's okay. I'll read it for us. If humans came in as many sizes as dogs, we'd range from three feet tall to 18 feet tall. That's kind of crazy, 18 feet tall. I want you to think about how big that would be. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, how about some diamonds fall to earth from outer space. What? I want a space diamond. Okay, one more thing that we read in here that I think you guys would find awesome is, did you know that sea lions and dogs are very similar? What? I know, what, you wanna get down, don't you? Oh, she wants to go choose some shoes. Sea lions have lots of energy like dogs, they love humans. If humans are diving in the ocean, they come over to play because they're like dogs. They hang out in packs, which are actually called rafts, a raft of sea lions. They can play fetch. Do you know that? And, oh, maybe that was, maybe that was all of the facts. Anyway, and you know you can train sea lions. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the sea lion show at um, SeaWorld or at the zoo, it's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna show you my infographic, but first I, I just want to make sure you understand what you need to have in order to get an A. So to get an A on the infographic, you have to have a title, your name, obviously. Um, you need to have a variety of pictures and words because it's info, but it's a graphic too, it's a diagram, right? Um, you need to list a few facts about which experiment you're going to discuss, whether it's coal mining or um, how, how coral reefs are good for the earth or landfills or, what's the other one? Pesticides. So you choose one, add some facts, and then you're going to, you need to put on your infographic at least two spheres, at least two of Earth's spheres that are affected by uh, this experiment, by whatever we're talking about here, right? So I'm gonna show you mine. Okay, I'm gonna, she's gonna say bye-bye, but she'll be, she'll be in the next video too, okay? Bye-bye. All right. Go away, go on, go away, go away, shoo. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can show you guys my infographic example. Okay, here it is. So now you guys know I said that you could do it on either uh, paper or poster board or um, do it in Google Slides. And a lot of you choose Google Slides because it's easy and it's kind of fun to look up the pictures. If you like art like I do and you like to draw, you might choose to do this. But either way, doesn't matter. So I've got a title. I have my name. I have some interesting graphics. I've, I've written a few informational things about coral reefs, okay? So I've got the yellow tube sponge, filters the water, coral cleans the ocean, it protects the shores from waves, and it's a home for lots of animals, very important. And then I, I included the spiny lobster, cleans the ocean floor like a dog cleans your kitchen floor. Ew! All right. And down here at the bottom, which spheres are impacted? I chose atmosphere and biosphere, but really, 
it impacts all spheres, right? Algae and coral life take in carbon dioxide and put out oxygen, so it's good for the atmosphere and clean air. It affects the biosphere because ocean life is healthier with clean water, and coral is a home to many animals and plants. Um, so I, I'm looking at this, and it looks pretty good. Um, I did say I wanted color on it, so if you can add some color, whether you're doing Google Slides, See, these are yellow tube sponges, so I'm assuming they're yellow. Otherwise, they'd be called, like, uh, red tube sponges, obviously. Okay. And then corals kind of, like, uh, pink. I can't tell what color these are. Maybe this is pink. It's more like orange. That's okay. I think coral is not just one color. Anyway... Make it colorful. I would color these pictures down there too. And then if you see a spot like up here, it doesn't have to be messy looking, but if you see a spot that you're like, oh, I think I should put something there. Maybe find another cool fact about whatever you are talking about, whether it's coral reefs, whether it's coal mining. Um, I know that there's a cool fact about coral reefs that I'm gonna put right here. And I'm gonna do a heart shape and I'll, I'll tell you why. I'm going to write in here that there's actually a huge coral in the shape of a heart in the ocean. And if you don't, and I'm going to write it in here. If you don't believe me, go Google it and you can see the picture from way up high and you can see it under the ocean. It looks like a big heart. Okay, if you have questions, you can write messages in um, the Science Google Classroom or um, email me. And then come Wednesday, this is due Wednesday, so you need to finish it up by Wednesday, it shouldn't take you too long. And then come Wednesday, I will put more, I will put your next assignment into Google Classroom and um, we'll be doing kind of an engineering creativity project. So, okay, I'll see you next time, guys. Oh, 